Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's 30 day growth challenge. What a great opportunity to grow. My name is Pastor Armando. Let's get into today's study on James chapter one, verse 19 through 21 in the NLT version I'll be reading. Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters, you must be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Human anger doesn't produce the righteous God desires. So get rid of all filth and evil in your lives and humbly accept the word God has planted in your hearts for it has the power to save your souls. What a great portion of scripture here in James and James is talking to us and he's saying dear brothers and sisters which means he's talking to us as believers. As believers how should we communicate with each other? How should we talk to each other and how should we react with each other? We must be quick to listen. God has given us two ears and one mouth which means God wants us to listen probably a little bit more than we talk. We should be able to hear what people are saying. Don't try to just think what they're saying, but actually listen to what they're saying. Speaking about myself, I would say in the past there was times that I was quick to speak before I was listening. I would try to talk over somebody or get my point across and not really listen, and I wouldn't be able to hear what they're saying or how they're feeling. When we slow down and we're slow to speak, we can actually hear what they're going through. We can hear their heart. We can hear where they're coming from. You know, if we're trying to speak over them, we're not really listening to them. We're not really hearing them. We're not listening to what's really going on and what the situation is. It also gives us a time when we're slow to speak and quick to listen, to hear from God. What does he want you to say in that situation? How does he want you to react in that situation? So we gotta be slow. Be slow to speak. Be slow to anger. It says, be slow to anger, right? We want to get a clear understanding of what this is. The Bible also says to be slow to anger. Don't let anger lead you. Don't let anger take you down the wrong path. So often, people are led by anger. We've all been there in a, maybe a traffic jam or on the street driving, and we, maybe I've been there. I know I've done it. Maybe cut somebody off by accident. Maybe I didn't go when the light turned green and all of a sudden the person behind me or the person I accidentally cut off, sometimes my wife will say I do it on purpose because I'm not paying attention. I, it's true. Uh, you know, when we do that, we can get angry or that person can get angry at us. And before you know it, fingers are going, cussing is cuss, coming out of the next car next to you. Things are going on. But we got to be slow to anger. Don't let your anger lead you. Don't be quick to be angry. God has showed us grace. God has showed us mercy. And we also want to show that to others. God has been so merciful to us and he has grace and mercy on our lives. We see this in Exodus chapter 34, verse six in the NLT version. It says, the Lord passed in front of Moses calling out Yahweh, the Lord, the God of compassion and mercy. I am slow to anger and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. The compassion and mercy that God has shown us, we should show to others. Don't be quick to be angry. Don't be quick to put people down. Don't be quick to get on people and not listen to what they're really saying. James goes on to say, get rid of all filth and evil in our lives, which means, guess what? There's probably something there because he's saying, get rid of it. And I'm not saying that we haven't all had past. We all haven't struggled or had difficulties, but we need to get rid of that stuff. We become a new creation in Christ and all things have passed away. The Bible says that he cleanses us. He gets rid of that filth, right? So don't allow that stuff to be in you. Get rid of all of it, whatever it may be. Maybe it might be a drug or an addiction or a woman or anger or pride or enviness or retaliation, right? Let's uproot those things. Let's get rid of them in our lives. I love the back portion of this scripture that says, humbly accept God's word that he has planted in your heart. Humbly accept it. That means we have to come humbly. We can't come like we already know it. I already have it all together. I know exactly what I need. I know what's going on. I know God's word. I know. A lot of times we'll say, yeah, I already know, but we're not doing it. Maybe we'll hear a word on a Sunday morning or on a Wednesday evening, and they say, man, we should do this or we should do that. There's a practical application that we should do, but we already do that. Instead of really accepting and receiving God's word that will transform our heart and get rid of all that evilness, all that filth, right? God's word has the power. We receive God's word and now we can give it. 
All we have to do is share the good news of God, share his word, because it says there's power in his word. It has power to produce salvation. So when you share the good news with other people, you can share it with your family member, your friends, your co-workers, no matter who it is, you can share it with them. Guess what? It has a power to produce. God has already planted his word in each and every one of our hearts. And he wants the best for us. This is an opportunity to show how powerful our God is. The powerful word of God will produce in your life. God's word carries the power because the word of God carries the power of God. So we come together and we produce God's word. God has already planted in your heart. Let's continue to flourish and grow in that. So as we come to a close in today's teaching, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to go throughout your day and be quick to listen, be slow to speak, and really listen. Have eye contact with that person. Look at them, gesture, yes, I'm listening to you. Don't be thinking in your mind, what can I say next? How can I rebuttal? What can I say? What am I thinking about? No, just listen, have eye contact. Be slow to anger, and let's do a heart check. Let's check our heart, and let's ask God, Lord, reveal to in me anything that may, I may be harboring, I may be holding on to, what do I need to get cleansed of? What do I need to set, up, set myself apart from? Whatever that is, let's do that. Let's say, Lord, I want to accept the challenge. I want to accept the challenge to making myself available for your use. I want to be slow to speak. I want to be slow to anger. I want to get rid of all these things. As we close, I want to thank you, and I want to thank God for what he's doing in this next 30 days. He's challenged each and every one of us to grow each and every one of us to get into his word and let's see what's going to be produced out of it. Righteous living, righteous anger, and the love of God for others. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today so much for what you've done in our lives. Lord, as we go through our day, we thank you, Lord, that you would highlight anything, Lord, that needs to be removed. We know that your word is alive and real and, Father, that you're going to produce something great in our lives. So work in us and through us for your glory. We thank you for the word that you planted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to say thank you so much for joining us for this 30-day challenge. Think about this. Tomorrow we're going to be a day older. Some of us might even grow a couple extra gray hairs by tomorrow. But one way or another, you're going to grow physically. But let's not just stop at growing physically and make sure that we also grow spiritually. So take the challenge. Don't miss one of these opportunities on the 30-day growth challenge to grow. Don't miss an opportunity to listen to the videos and learn what God has for you and grow in your knowledge of what God is doing through the Wayworld Outreach 30-day growth challenge. Let's grow together and let's continue to see what God's going to do in us and through us. God bless you. We love you. Have a wonderful day. Take care.